Hello, good morning and welcome. I'm Deirdre Coyne and today I'm talking about three ways to think differently about wine o'clock. Um, so the first one that I'm going to share with you is that what if the glass or two of wine or the wine o'clock feeling was the problem and not the solution? Because oftentimes we might think, oh, this is going to help me, it might be a coping mechanism. Asking ourselves that question of, is this going to nourish me or is it going to punish me? So is it going to help me to cope with whatever I'm dealing with or is it actually going to make, so is it the problem rather than the solution? Is it going to make things worse or I'm going to be left with the original issue or the original problem and also the extra lack of energy, etc. that might go with the um, extra glasses of wine. So... The other thing to th maybe think differently is that sometimes we might think I need this to relax and a lot of the work that I do around behavioural change and in particular cognitive change would be to ask ourselves is what I think 100% true 100% of the time? Is it true 100% of the time that we need wine to relax or have I actually had a really relaxing time without it in the past and can I relax? without wine. The third one, and probably um, in terms of thinking differently, really, really powerful because sometimes we think um, I it'll be really difficult for me to give up wine or alcohol. And actually, are you actually giving up anything? What would you be giving up? Would you be giving up, you know, sometimes maybe we feel it's just something that we deserve or something that it's a treat but actually is it helping us is it something that's bringing us energy and vitality and giving us all the things that we deserve so maybe asking ourselves is there anything to actually give up those are the three ways to think differently about wine o'clock i hope it's helpful thank you for listening to me today and have a great day bye for now